In Excel, you can use the VLOOKUP formula to pull data from a table. In this example, we have orders, and we'd like to automatically show the cost for each product that's sold. So here we're selling paper and staplers and pens. We have a price list in another workbook, and here you can see each item and the cost that we sell it for. The two are in different workbooks. Usually if you're using VLOOKUP, you'd use a list that's in the same workbook, but in this case we're going to refer to a different workbook. To make this easy, I've got both the workbooks open and I'm going to show them side by side. So on the ribbon, on the View tab, I'll click Arrange All and I'd like to see them vertically arranged. So I'll click OK. And now we can see the price list. And beside that is the list of orders. For the VLOOKUP, I will start with an equal sign and type VLOOKUP and an open bracket. And then I click on the cell that has the value I want to look for in the price list. So I want to find the price of paper, so I'll click on that, and then type a comma to start the next argument. And the next argument is, where is the lookup table? So now this is in the other workbook, so I'll click on that and select the cells where the price list is. And you can see that in the other workbook now. And I'll press the comma to start the next argument. And to finish, I want to say which column the prices are in. We can see that they're in 1, 2. So the prices are in column 2. So I'll type 2. And then I want an exact match always. I don't want just some random price that seems close. So I'll click false. And close the bracket and press enter. So now in the formula bar you can see there's the name of the other workbook and the sheet and the cells where the price list is. So I'll just copy that down to the rest of the orders. And Everything's working nicely. Now if I go back and close the price list, save the changes. Now this workbook, we can see the VLOOKUP shows the full path to that other workbook, but everything still works well. The VLOOKUP works even though the book workbook with the price list is closed now. So you can use VLOOKUP to refer to a list in another workbook and it's easiest if you make the link with both workbooks open.